Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Happy Metal Tales. I'm your host, Steve Kitts. The Chicken Coop Condo. In the cozy corner of Happy Metal stood a unique little spot. The Chicken Coop Condo. It wasn't just any coop either. This one had been specially built by Farmer Brown, and it had many chicken families who lived there. One of the chicken families was led by Afonso and his wife Chesney with their two chicks. With fresh hay spread neatly on the floor, the tall roosting bars, and little nooks for the chicks to hide in and play, it was more like a home than a simple coop. Afonso, the hard-working father, took pride in his family's home. Each morning, he would rise at the first light of dawn, letting out a hearty crow to greet the day. Time to get up, family, Alfonso called with a deep, warm voice. Chesney the hen stretched her wings, and their two chicks, Nova and Brantley, poked their heads out of their cozy nest. Good morning, Papa, Nova chirped with a big yawn. Brantley, still half asleep, mumbled something about more sleep, but slowly got to his feet. After breakfast, Chesney and Afonso watched as Nova and Brantley ran out to play with the other chicks from the nearby coops. The other chicks, there were six total, came out every morning to play in the meadow. Jacob, the young rooster, a bit of a leader among the chicks, was the first to arrive. Come on, Nova, Brantley, Jacob called out, flapping his little wings with excitement. Let's play chase around the apple trees. Brantley and Nova eagerly joined, running into the tall grass as they played. Alfonso stood by and watched proudly as he smiled at his children. Even though he worked hard all day, ensuring the coop was in perfect shape and that his family had everything that they needed, he always found time to check on the little ones. Chesney, it's days like these that remind me why we work so hard, Afonso said, leaning against the wooden fence as he watched the little chicks. Chesney nodded. You're right. They have everything that they need to grow up strong and happy. She smiled at her husband. And thank you for all your hard work. Afonso puffed up with pride, but gave a modest shrug. Ah, it's nothing really. Just doing what the father's supposed to do. While the chicks played tag, Nova and Brantley came running back to the coop out of breath, but laughing. Papa, Papa, Jacob says there's a new swing over by the oak tree near the pond. Can we go try it out? Nova asked with wide, excited eyes. Alfonso chuckled. Of course, but be careful. Always, Brantley chirped in. The chicks rushed off to the oak tree where the sturdy new swing that had been tied up by Robbie the rabbit and Benny the squirrel was. As they swang higher and higher, their laughter echoed throughout the meadow. Back at the chicken coop condo, Afonso and Chesney sat side by side, enjoying the warm afternoon sun. The coop was more than just a place to live. It was their home, a place where they raised their chicks, shared meals, and made memories. And with the meadow bustling with life all around them, there was never a dull moment. After a long day of play, the chicks all returned to the coops, tired but happy. Alfonso and Chesney gathered their family around for dinner, sharing stories about their day and listening to the joyful chirps of Nova and Brantley as they talked about their adventures with the other chicks. As the stars began to twinkle in the sky, the chicken coop condo would grew very quiet. Chesney tucked the little ones in while Alfonso made sure that the coop was secure for the night. Good night, Papa, Brantley whispered sleepily. Good night, Papa, Brantley said quietly. You're the best Papa Rooster ever. Alfonso smiled softly, feeling the warmth that spread throughout his old body. Good night, little ones, sweet dreams. And so, as the meadow settled into a peaceful slumber, Afonso stood guard, knowing that his family was safe and happy in their little chicken coop condo, ready for whatever adventure the next day would bring. The End